Poland has been dubbed the worst place to live in the European Union if you are LGBTQ+. In recent years, around 100 local authorities across the country have signed declarations against what they call LGBT ideology. In the face of attacks and hostile hate speech, activists continue to fight back. They march in pride events around the country and have even managed to pressure some councils to backtrack on their declarations. Still, much of Poland remains a virtual no-go area. Nie chcemy, naszym końcowym celem jest to, żeby nie można było w Polsce promować ideologii LGBT, żeby te osoby nie wychodziły na ulicę. LGBTQ people in Poland told us they now feel more alienated and afraid than ever. So the situation is getting only worse and worse. We are basically treated not like human beings. In the spring of 2019, the quiet town of Krasnik in southeast Poland signed a declaration saying that being lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender or queer undermines traditional values and Polish family life. Jan Albiniak is an elected official in Krasnik who voted in favour of the declaration against so-called LGBTQ ideology. We are talking about ideology LGBT która ma na celu to, żeby światopogląd naszego narodu, naszego społeczeństwa zmienić. He believes that pride marches and even mentioning LGBTQ issues in schools damages traditional Polish family values. Ale jeżeli ktoś chce wyeksponować swoje różnice, jeżeli ktoś chciałby nam zaszkodzić jako społeczeństwu, no to będziemy robić wszystko, co w naszej mocy. Oczywiście tylko i wyłącznie zgodnie z prawem, żeby temu zapobiec. The declarations are not laws, but they send out a clear message to the local LGBTQ community. In Krasnik, Adam Cezary Gonska flies the only rainbow flag we could find. For him, it's a protest against the town's homophobic stance. But when he put it up in 2020, it soon attracted some unwanted attention. Początek parę miesięcy temu był straszny, bo mnie łebki rzucały w posesję, w mieszkaniu, w dom, kamieniami, obelgi. Adam is keeping his flag as well as his faith in the future. No tak jest, przykro mi, ale tak w takim kraju przychodzi mi umierać. Może mój wnuk, może jego dzieci, może coś się zmieni. Liczę na to. It has never been easy for LGBTQ people in Poland which is staunchly conservative and Catholic. But support for LGBTQ rights and the number of pride marches has grown steadily over the last 20 years. When the right-wing and Eurosceptic Law and Justice Party came to power in 2015, the tone changed. First, they framed migrants as the national threat. But by the 2019 election cycle, they'd switched attention to demonizing the LGBTQ community as a way of rallying voters against a perceived threat. This is when towns like Krasnik began signing declarations or adopting so-called family charters. And in the 2020 presidential runoff, President Andrzej Duda beat the pro-Europe and pro-LGBT rights mayor of Warsaw with his hardline stance. One of his main campaign messages being gay is, quote, an ideology worse than communism. Other religious and political leaders have likened it to Nazism or a disease. We are called the rainbow plague. We are basically treated not like human beings, which has even been said uh, that LGBT is not people, it's an ideology. Also in 2020, 200,000 people signed a petition calling for a ban on all pride marches and delivered it to Parliament. And in June 2021, the Education Minister called an equality parade through Warsaw an insult to public morality, the latest official outcry in one of the most religious countries on the continent. Many fear that the language employed by local councils and central government could be a precursor for a clampdown on rights 
and even physical violence. Ten środek ciężkości może się przesuwać. Na początek właśnie jest to tylko ta, ta nic nieznacząca deklaracja. Może się stać powodem właśnie do tego, że ktoś zostanie zaatakowany. While much of Europe is seeing the rise of progressive, inclusive policies around same-sex marriage and adoption, in Poland both are outlawed. And with the help of the right-wing state-owned media, the notion that being gay or trans is an ideology is gaining traction. In Polish we say that if you throw enough mud on somebody, some of it will stick. Uh, you would expect that reasonable people will say, well, that's bullshit. But if you hear this bullshit all the time, you know, the repeated, the repeated message, all the time uh, saying the same things or the same awful things, some of this will stay in people's heads. About 25 kilometers south of Krasnik is the district of Niezwidzia Duja. The town council here signed a declaration a couple of days before Krasnik did in May 2019. Kazimierz Strelec was stunned. To dla mnie jako dla osoby homoseksualnej no to jest do, nie do pomyślenia. Ja w gminie, gdzie mieszkam prawie 60 lat, nagle mi ktoś mówi, że, że ja tutaj nie jestem potrzebny do niczego, nie, że nie mam prawa tu mieszkać, że ja jestem zły, że wszystko co robię jako nie tylko jako człowiek, ale i też jako aktywista, to, to jestem gorszy nie wiem, od faszyzmu i komunizmu. Kazimierz has been a devout Catholic all his life. He's also a gay rights activist and organizes pride events every year. He says since the polarizing political hate campaigns of the last few years, things have got worse, and now even feels rejected by members of his own church. In 2019, he helped organize the second ever pride march in the nearby city of Lublin. At the march, police arrested a couple carrying a homemade bomb. Tylko dzięki czujności policji Pana Boga na górze nie zdołali tego odpocząć, bo jakby odpalili te bomby, to mogłoby dojść do paniki, mogłyby być to ofiary śmiertelne. Equality marches, as they're known in Poland, were banned as recently as 2007. They have become more widespread, with an estimated 25 held across the country in 2019, but they still face considerable opposition. Kazimierz has particularly strong memories of the first ever march in the northeastern city of Białystok, which descended into violence in July 2019. But the fight back is underway. After towns began signing their declarations in 2019, a group of activists started a campaign of naming and shaming. An online map called the Atlas of Hate pinpoints every place that has signed declarations or so-called family charters, which both claim to want to halt the spread of LGBT ideology. The map inspired Polish gay rights activist Bart Staszewski to then put up signs at the entrance to each town, declaring them LGBT free. This. So I created a sign, the LGBT free zone sign that I bring with me to the cities that declare us LGBT free. I put it there. I, I invite people who are brave enough to, 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 to join my project from those cities, the LGBT people, to make a testimonial of how they feel uh, being uh, excluded from the local communities. And he worries about the future. Uh, the, the, the young people are afraid of coming out because the atmosphere is simply uh, the, the homophobic. Those poor kids that commit, are committing suicide because of the homophobia in Poland, because ja, they are just afraid of come out, because their families, parents uh, throw out them from the homes because they heard in TV that they are kind of demons and they are perverts or whatever. Both the map and Bart's guerrilla tactics got international media attention, and the declarations drew a scathing response from the EU. Day. So I want to be crystal clear. LGBTQI free zones are humanity free zones and they have no place in our union. Those behind the map were nominated for a prestigious Human Rights Award from the European Union. Towns highlighted began to pay the price for their homophobia, losing access to European funds. Krasnik lost millions in grant money from Norway and was dropped by its twin city in France. 
Then in April 2021, Krashnik backed down and repealed its declaration. In the months that followed, other towns followed suit. But large swathes of the map are still red, and a group of local governments are suing the activists behind the Atlas of Hate for slander. In many countries, younger generations tend to be more progressive, but in Poland, these deeply entrenched beliefs are held by old and young alike. The All Polish Youth is a far right nationalist movement here. Ja chciałbym, żeby to osoby po prostu, jeżeli e, mają takie skłonności, jeżeli coś w ich życiu nastąpiło takiego, że, e, że stały się, że, że, że zmieniły orientację na homoseksualną, czy, czy, czy zmieniły cokolwiek innego, e, to żeby postarały, się, żeby postarały się to zwalczyć i żeby postarały się innych do tego nie, nie namawiać siłą. W głowach tych ludzi wszystkich to jest LGBT, to coś jest jakaś tego, ale oni nie kojarzą się ze, ze zwykłym człowiekiem i on nie wiem, czy on młody, czy stary, to po prostu LGBT zagraża naszym dzieciom, chcą nas się seksualizować, gwałcić nasze dzieci i tyle i, i koniec. Miłosz Szepiakowski runs a charity offering counseling and support for Poland's LGBTQ community. We can only see how devastated they are by the fact that they are not accepted for who they are. So this is very tragic for me, especially for young people. He surveyed 10,000 young LGBTQ people across the country in 2016, together with a consortium of organizations. They found that 70% had suicidal thoughts or were depressed, compared to less than half of American LGBTQ plus youth. And almost 70% of LGBTQ people of all ages in Poland had been the focus of homophobic abuse. I think it's very important to show them that they have a place where they can get real support. That there are people who are like them, there are people who can help them. Human right to feel protected in their own state, to, feel, to have this dignity and having the right to marry uh, whenever, whom they like, uh, is not hurting anybody. And they need to state that this is true. We are not hurting anybody, we just demand equality, not the privilege. When Kazimierz considers his struggle for equality in Poland, he takes an optimistic view and an inspirational quote. Jak wa zaczynasz walczyć, to najpierw cię ignorują, później cię ośmieszają, później walczą z tobą, a na końcu wygrywasz. A my już jesteśmy w tym momencie walki. Także tak naprawdę ja wierzę, że nie, niewiele zostało do wygrania. Mm.